we are, and man, that's my brother, man. And they shot him seven times. These are kids. Right These now. weren't convicted felons. I don't care what the story says. We got eyewitness accounts of people in the community that was seen it. We need the truth. I want the truth for my nephew. You can hear the outrage that is growing in Colorado Springs this week. This after police there shot and killed this man, Devin Bailey, on Saturday while investigating a robbery. Now 9 News has obtained surveillance video of his arrest from a nearby surveillance camera. We do want to warn you, it may be difficult for some to watch. Ryan Herrer has that video. That's adding to the frustration of some people in Colorado Springs. Ryan, you also spoke with Mayor John Southers today. I spoke with the mayor about a, an hour ago, and, and you know he has a lot of experience dealing with these officer-involved shootings, given his time as a district attorney and, of course, as attorney general of the state. So he has a whole lot of confidence that the system will sort all of this out and get it right. He also told me that he understands that some folks in the community don't trust the system. He's asking for patience. More from him in a bit. I do want to show you that surveillance video now that we got earlier this morning, taken from a home nearby the scene where this officer-involved shooting happened. It shows Devon Bailey running away from two police officers before throwing his arms up. He then falls to the ground. It's not clear from this video if this is the moment he's actually shot by those officers. Uh, there's no sound on the video taken from a, the nearby home. But witnesses say officers shot him as many as seven times and accused officers of shooting him in the back. Those officers eventually try to keep him alive, but Devon died. There's now a memorial at the scene. Many of the people blaming police have shown up there to mourn. Mayor Southers explained that judgments can't be made based on this one video. The El Paso County Sheriff's Office is investigating the Springs police shooting, and Southers says there's still work to do on that investigation before the district attorney can decide whether or not to take further legal action. He wants everyone to be patient while that happens. At 5 o'clock, we'll show you more of Mayor Southers' interview uh, that we spoke with him just a, about an hour ago now, but he's asking for patience. He says there are so many things that the investigating officers, the district attorney, have to sort through before coming to a final conclusion. You cannot, uh, he says, make a conclusion based on this very short short surveillance video from far away. Uh, what we do know is that Bailey was a suspect in a robbery. That's why police were there. That's why police were chasing him. Uh, we also know that police say one of the two suspects involved in this pulled a gun, and that's why police say that they fired. We're not sure if it was Bailey who actually had the gun. That's all still part of the investigation, too. Bailey was also recently caught. Uh, he recently caught felony charges in a, uh, a child sex assault case. But we don't know if the officers knew that about Bailey when they showed up to the scene, whether or not they knew that he had just uh, uh, pled not guilty to those charges a few days prior. Uh, finally, every police officer on the Colorado Springs Police Department wears a body camera. You can bet Tom and Kim that investigators in this case are taking a very close look at that and another mountain of evidence uh, in this case right now. It certainly seems like the body camera continues to change the way we see these incidents as mm -hmm. they come in and ultimately uh, what those body cameras do and don't show us will we'll tell, tell part of the story as well. Thank you, Ryan.